Okay, this is Dave Conger coming to you live during this demo. Basically, what I'm going to do is is just take a bunch of stuff that I've been researching for the last couple of days. That's going to help out the project and uh, have the way uh, you might want to look. And so we're just going to throw it all together in like a little two-minute uh, like little video vignette and uh, call it a training video, and we'll see how it turns out. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm just recording this on a Zoom cam. And this will be our studio camera shot, and then uh, we'll add a bunch of uh, other things in between. So here we go. Arbitrar arbitrarily picked the uh, subject. It's Eddie Van Halen. So we're going to read a script on him and add a bunch of uh, animations and other kinds of stuff. Eddie Van Halen was born in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Uh, Edward Lozewick Van Halen was the son of Jan Van Halen and Eugenia Nee Van Halen Beers. Jan was a Dutch jazz pianist, clarinetist, and saxophonist. In 1962, the Van Halen family moved from the Netherlands to the United States. Eddie and his brother Alex formed Van Halen in 1972. Uh, two years later, the band changed its name to Van Halen and at the same time became a staple of the Los Angeles music scene while playing at well-known clubs like the Whiskey Go-Go. They had their first uh, record contract in 1977. Eddie has engaged in several other projects outside of his uh, autonomous band, including solo work and partnerships with his brother on film soundtracks such as Twister, The Wildlife, and has also worked with famous musicians on collaborations like Gene Simmons from Kiss, Michael Jackson, Brian May, Sammy Hagar, the list goes on and on. He invented tapping, well, he dubbed tapping in 1978 uh, when he came out with his uh, famous guitar solo, Eruption. In 1980, uh, he met and married Valerie Bertinelli, an actress, uh, after she saw him at a Van Halen concert in Shreveport, Louisiana. Van Halen struggled with alcoholism and drug abuse. Uh, he began smoking and drinking at the age of 12, uh, entered rehab in 2007, uh, and said later that he shared an interview he did since 2008. Okay, so we'll use that as our, uh, as our uh, demo script, and uh, we'll stop recording here and see what happens.